Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel Shopping and Scents. And today we are back to a shopping and scent related video. After a couple of uh, movie reviews and some other stuff thrown in there, I am back to what I love to do best and that is bringing you shopping and scents. So I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you today. I found some great things and hopefully uh, you'll think that they're great too and you might want to go out to the Dollar Tree and pick them up yourself. And we're gonna try some stuff. I'm gonna show you everything and then we're gonna actually try some stuff and see uh, how good it is or how bad it is. Okay, so I got my bags here. I went to two different Dollar Trees and I just picked up a small amount of stuff from each but collectively it's a bigger haul. Uh, than individually so anyway i'm going to start off with my favorite find you guys are, know if you watch my channel i'm obsessed with soap and body care and all that kind of stuff and i found the most beautiful package soap that i think i've ever found at the dollar tree and that is this soft soap it's a good thumbnail soft soap wild basil and lime and i just love the packaging on this it is so pretty they only had two left or else I would have bought easily a dozen of these because not only are they super pretty and soft soap is a name brand, but they're super pretty and I think they would be great for gifts and they smell really amazing. I went to another Dollar Tree in hopes of finding more of these and I was not able to and I wanted to see if it had come in any other different scents other than this one and like I said, I wasn't able to find it again. So if I do find it again, I will pick up more. And if I find it in other scents that are uh, just as good or better, I'll pick that up too. So let's smell. It smells like lime and basil, but not in that dirty dish rag way that sometimes Bath and Body Works soaps tend to smell when they throw in lime scents in there. This, you can distinctly smell the tart citrus of the lime and the herbal sweetness of the basil. And it's really, really pretty, really amazing. And I like it, love it so, so much. And I wish I could find more. Have you guys seen these? Did they come in different scents? Let me know. Then I picked up Okay, so we got to talk about this detangler. So you guys know that I am a big fan of the Barbie cotton candy detangler. And this is from a previous haul. This is what it looks like. Barbie cotton candy detangler. I bought tons of this a while back and stocked up on it. And I'm glad I did because it disappeared for a while. And I was not happy about that. So... I was hesitant to pick up anything other than this, but I decided to try what they replaced that with, at least what I've seen them replace it with in a lot of the stores, is this detangler, which I don't know who these characters are. It says shimmer and shine hair detangler, and this says cotton candy scented. I really don't like this packaging compared to the other one. And as far as the smell, let's see if does it smell like cotton candy, like the other one? Okay, this smells more like a, it's a lighter, more natural cotton candy smell. Whereas this smells like junk food cotton candy that you get at the theme park or whatever. Yes, this smells sticky, syrupy, sweet, which I'm used to and I love. This one smells pretty good but you know when you grow to love a product and you like sticking with it you know sometimes change is not so good so I did pick this up then I went to another Dollar Tree and I found for the first time in quite a while uh, the Barbie detangler is back but they've changed the packaging yes I know it's terrible they've changed the packaging it's okay I like the old packaging better. You guys tell me what you think. Okay, so I picked up two of them because I love the product. Um, even if the packaging, the new packaging looks 
awful to me. That doesn't even look like Barbie. That looks like Jem from Jem and the Holograms. You just made her hair pink. Uh, it would be Jem. Um, and so this has smooths and untangles hair. Cotton candy scented. I'm not going to spray this one too. I'm assuming that it's the same, the same product in a different packaging. And just that's what it looks like now. Let's do a comparison with the old packaging. Come on. Okay. Now that I look at it side by side, side by side, the old packaging didn't look like Barbie either, but I so much like the teal and the polka dots and this color scheme than this kind of crazy all over the place. Mm. So you guys tell me what you think. Do you like the new Barbie detangler, the old one, the new packaging, old packaging, or this, this other thing, shimmer and shine? I mean, I'm assuming that this works just as well as this, um, so we'll see. But I'm a big believer in that detangler. Um, this is another product. This is not from this haul, but while we're on sprays, uh, Lusty's Organic Olive Oil Hair Sheen uh, Rejuvenates Fragile Hair. I don't know how well this works. I spray it sometimes. I think it maybe gives a little bit of moisture to my hair, although I'm having a clearly a bad hair day today. Um, but this is not a detangler, so yeah. And if you have naturally wavy hair like I do, tangles are a concern. So let's go on to some other stuff. Okay, this thing. So I found this in the makeup aisle. I don't know what to think about this. So it's called Pout Play Iridescent Lip Color. And it says Sinful Colors. Now... I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it looks like there's globs or something in there. Either those are air bubbles or that's, I don't know what that is. So I was thinking maybe it went bad. I don't know. It doesn't have an expiration date on it. Um, and if you look at the back, it says sinfulcolors.com. And then it says, uh, this original Revlon product has been repackaged, not under license. That's interesting. So it's a Revlon product. Now they had this in three colors. It doesn't say what the color is on it, but the three colors that it came in are this pink. It came in like a yellowy color, which I'm assuming is clear, I'm not sure. And then it, they had a sky blue color. So all of the colors, not very natural. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to do. Pout Play Iridescent Lip Color. So we're gonna try that out. I don't know, it just looks so strange. Then I picked up some more lip color as if I needed it because you know, you guys know if you've watched my previous Dollar Tree hauls that I've hauled like basically every lip color that LA Colors and all, all those wet and wild and all those colors that are the Dollar Tree, I have, I must have every single one by now. Um, and I probably have this one already and I just don't know where it is. So this is LA Colors Lip Gloss Moisturizing, um, Vitamin E Enriched, and this is number BLG66 Coral Crush. Now, usually I don't pick up coral um, shades of lipstick or gloss or lip color. I'm more of a pink and purple type gal, but I recently have been loving this uh, Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Now, I've hauled these before. I have these in a bunch of different shades. I really like this product um, as, as a lip color. I like I've have it in, in browns and pinks and I, of course I had to get it in coral just because I, I had to have every one in the collection. So I have, as you probably noticed, this is actually me tan. Um, I have very fair skin. So coral does not tend to look well on my, with my skin color. Uh, my mom, she's more of a coral person because she has olive skin. Um, it looks better on her and she likes to wear corals. But I recently tried this and maybe it's because I have a slight hint of color in my face now because of the summertime. I'm really loving the coral and I wanted to get this um, Coral Crush to go on top of the Revlon matte lip color. So I could wear this as a matte color 
or I could add the gloss on top of it. And this, if you guys are interested, this is number 620, uh, says flirtation flirt. So that's that. Uh, okay, so we're gonna try this after I finish showing you all the stuff. So I'm gonna put this on top of this and see how that goes. I got my handy dandy mirror. Oh, that's got some dust on it. I should clear that up. I just moved into this apartment a few weeks ago, so stuff stuff is dusty and kind of just like, mm -hmm. anyway. And for you guys that have been asking me to do the apartment tour, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like another month at least because I just have unpacking burnout. So I have a couple of boxes. It's not, the apartment is not decorated and unpacked and situated the way I want it yet before I show it off to people. So that's gonna be, you'll have to stay tuned for that. So anyway, getting back to the Dollar Tree haul. So I have LA Colors and I wanted to get some mascara because I don't have any mascara. I don't know where mine went. It probably was old because I don't really use mascara. And the reason for that is I have seasonal allergies. I take meds for it, but the short answer is I rub my eyes. I have a tendency to forget, forget, I'm going New York accent, get, I forget, I forget. There's the New York accent creeping in. I forget that I have, oh, that sounds Southern in a way. <laughs> I don't remember that I have eye makeup on and I rub my eyes and then I look like a raccoon or worse. So this um, says full effect brush lengthens lashes. I was just really looking for something that wasn't too thick or too bushy or whatever. Um, so I wanted kind of like a plain Jane Thing, just on the occasion that I'm going out to dinner or something and I decide I want to use some mascara and this is uh, Beyond Black it's uh, CBMS 159 Beyond Black so there's that that's one bag actually I pulled out stuff from the other bag so that's not really completely true let's do some boring stuff uh, so I got some bowls because I need the bowls I don't know it was eight bowls for a dollar if you get the solo brand but if you get the brand x one you get 10 bowls for a dollar so i went with the solo brand because that's the kind i bought last time and they were fine um then i found this really cute shower curtain now let me warn you guys about shower curtains from the dollar tree they are cute i am using one now i already ripped it i already ripped it i already stepped on it and pulled it and it's, they're paper thin, and even if you use it in combination with the magnetic liner, which they also sell at the Dollar Tree, it's still paper thin and crappy. It's, it's a dollar's worth of quality. So just be aware. If you are the type of person that, like me, no, well, no, I shouldn't say. I'm detouring from my video here. Let me detour for a second. I like having a shower stall in the apartment. That's what I had previously. It had glass doors. You just Windex the doors and you're done. The apartment I had before that and before that and whatever, it was with a bathtub like I have now and a shower curtain. Shower curtains get mold. They get mildew. They're hard to clean. They're a gigantic pain in the ass. So, excuse my language for you younger viewers. So I, I hate shower curtains. So if I get a cheap junky one and I got to replace it every month instead of clean it fine so I found let's get to it now I found this super cute super cute um shower curtain and they have put this design I've seen other youtubers haul um towels hand towels and other things with the rubber ducky on it I think they might even have him on soap dishes. I'm not quite sure. And it just says rub-a-dub-dub -dub on it and has the cute little rubber ducky. So I really like it. And since I've already ripped my shower curtain and it's going to be on its way out, I figure I pick up a backup because it was so cute. Now, I this was a last minute impulse buy at the register. We're going to try this stuff out. After I finish hauling, we're trying this out. This is some 
I've never heard of this company, Reed's Root Beer. They had it in cinnamon and they had it in root beer. And obviously the cinnamon was in a red packaging. So it says, made as it was in 1893. Reed's individually wrapped root beer. Doesn't say root beer what. It feels like Now it feels like hard candy. Now I'm disappointed because I really thought it was gonna be like Twizzlers, like Nibs or what do they call it? If you hear snoring in the background, that's my pug Malcolm. He's constantly making noises. I think he does it on purpose, especially when I turn on the camera. I think that that heightens his desire to make pug noises. But anyway, so these are root beer candies. Yeah, I'm I'm disappointed already. I feel like hard candy. And then I picked up some generic cereal. Apple bits. So this is supposed to be like Apple Jacks, I guess. It says Golden Foods. And then over here it says now even better tasting. Okay. Um you get a pretty good size here. This is 10 ounces. Cereal any kind of cereal in a regular supermarket it's gonna run you more than a dollar i don't eat cereal very often for breakfast sometimes i have it as like a late night snack that's why i tend to get the sweet cereals even though i'm not supposed to eat anything sweet because i am diabetic uh if i have a craving for something sweet at night and i want a snack for some reason i'll just have a bowl of cereal i don't know um so yeah so well, what should we try first should we try the lipstick first let's try this Okay, so that concludes the haul. If you guys are not interested in me trying out any of these products or seeing anything further, feel free to exit now. Okay, so this Pout Play stuff here that with these, those strange bubbles. I'm dying to tear this open and see what's going on with this thing. What does it feel like? What does it look like? It's just, and I can't open it. Okay. All right, so I think looking at it, I think those are bubbles. I'm hoping they're bubbles. It's got like a Blistex thing on there. Let's, I'm, a, I'm scared to try this out. Oh, okay. It doesn't look so bad. Oh, no, this way. It. It's not gonna focus focus okay it's it's got like a shimmery shiny lip glossy thing to it so it doesn't look as terrifying let's see get my mirror here ah uh, Okay, that probably looked totally weird as I was just glancing at myself. Wow, that is really, can you see that? No, you probably can't. It's really shiny. It's metallic. It's metallic shiny. It's nice, it's, you probably can't see this on me. I'm trying to move closer. It's, this oh, my sandals hurting my foot um it's shiny i don't think it makes my lips look any fuller or pouty it's okay it's kind of nice it's hard to it's just a really it's a really shiny metallic lip gloss i'm gonna have to to give this some further further um uh, consideration but it's definitely not as scary as I thought it was going to be iridescent lip color yeah that's what it is maybe I'll try layering it with some stuff I take this off now because I want to try on that other lipstick okay and then we're going to try some food so first I'm going to put on the uh the Revlon 
feels so weird doing this on camera. See, normally, normally I would hate this color on my, on, with my complexion. But I'm really loving it for the summer. So I'm going to let that matte up because it's, it's still shiny. So it's going to take like a second or two to matte up. Um, that sounds weird. So while I'm waiting for it to mat up, let's let's see what's going on with the Reed Group here. Oh, like old old people candy, old people hard candy. Just just look, it looks like a duty. I don't know. Like if I put this on the floor at my mom's house, I could probably blame Malcolm for for pooping on the floor. Uh. Why is it so difficult to get this out of the packaging? Is this how hard it was to get this out of the packaging back when it was made in 1893? Okay. Just unnecessarily complicated. You look, okay. Um. I have to say, in all honesty, for a hard candy, it's really good. It tastes just like root beer, but I have this desire to want to chew it, like as if it were a Twizzler or a chewy candy, because I want it to be chewy. Mm. But that really tastes I know, terrible, talking with my mouth full. That really tastes good. If this wasn't so many calories and didn't have so much sugar in it, I'd pick up another bag. Malcolm. He's snoring. Um, there's 19, there's 19 pieces in here. They're 25 calories a piece. And they have four grams of sugar per piece. I might, you know what? I've never seen these in the Dollar Tree before. They probably last, these last until May 2022. I may just have to pick up another bag, keep it in the cabinet. Really good. Very surprised. Then. We're going to taste these. It's kind of matted up now. Okay. So now we're going to try this coral lip gloss by LA Colors and see if it makes it better or worse. Okay. It's got the normal little foot, little sponge there. They call that a doe foot. Okay. This kind of has a scent to it. Not like it smells like anything in particular. Just like a cosmetic scent. I don't know. I don't know if that made things better or worse. I 
I don't know how I feel about that. I think I like it without the gloss. Uh, or maybe when I don't want to wear lipstick, I'll just wear the gloss on its own. I don't know if I like them on one on top of each other. Uh, yeah. So let's see what the deal is with this thing. That's what the bag looks like. It's going to be hard to tell. Okay, I had to spit out the root beer thing. So, why is, why is everything at the Dollar Tree so difficult to open? Oh, and I should tell you, while I was at the Dollar Tree today, just so I can make this video even longer, there were these two English guys at the Dollar Tree. And it was so weird because they were like really, really English. Like they had super thick English accents, which I happen to think English accents are very, um, I want to say they're very sexy. They are, but these two guys were not sexy, but, um, it's very classy. You know, I love a British accent, an English accent. So they bought $135 worth of stuff. I think they were having some kind of party because they bought some candles and snacks and plates and all kinds of stuff, $135 worth of stuff. And I had to be online behind them with my couple of items. And the, the checkout, she, the, the guys asked the checkout girl, um, is this the most anybody's bought from the Dollar Tree? And she's like, no, people buy $400 worth of stuff. And they, they couldn't believe it. They're like, really? What's the thing that people buy the most of? And she said, snacks. And she said that they were the, her biggest order for today, but they weren't her biggest order ever. So I guess I kind of pooped on their parade. I'm going to say you can tell that they're generic Apple Jacks, but it's in a good way because I think they're not as, they don't taste as sweet as regular Apple Jacks, but I haven't had Apple Jacks in so long. I can't even remember, but I remember them being, from what I remember, I remember them being sweeter than this. This expires... July 31st, 2020. So I have a, almost a year to eat this, which it won't take that long. Um, they're not bad. They're a little cardboardy tasting. I don't mind that. Like I said, I like the fact that they don't taste as sweet as regular Apple Jacks. I'm gonna get my, my root beer candy back over here. I don't know how I think I don't know how I feel about this, this lip gloss stuff. I know you guys are probably sitting there going, we can't tell all the colors look the same on your camera. Yeah, well, what do you want from me? This is what I, I can afford. Film with my iPhone. Oh, I almost forgot. And I would have been kicking myself. I got another magnet for my fridge as if I needed another magnet. Let's check out the, the how many magnets I got. Let's see. That's just some of the magnets, okay? And the reason that I'll put magnets underneath where those ribbons are because I don't want them to be low enough to the ground where Malcolm will swat them with his foot or try to chew on one of them. So I leave them pretty high up. The sides of the fridge are done too. So let's look again. Lots of lots of magnets. Maybe I should do a fridge magnet tour. Anyway, there were lots of different magnets. I was going to get a few of them. One of them had a pineapple on it and it said like pineapple fabulous or pineapple something. I don't know. Uh, and then there was, there were, oh, and then one said, I, ex I, it was with an espresso on it and it said, I espresso love you or something like that. Anyway, this is the one I got. This is hanging there. And the 
pug is climbing onto the H. And of course, it's a beige pug, not a black pug, which I have a black pug. Um, and they aren't ver represented very much in pug stuff, you know. So anyway, I got the beige pug. He'll go on to my fridge. And I have pug art around my apartment to represent Malcolm so he feels like he is, you know, celebrated. That's the word I was looking for. Um, yeah, so it's been 30 minutes. This is a really super long video. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching my channel. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, click the little gray bell. Until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.